good to see you. Now I'm going to show you how to draw one of the world's top pop stars, Ariana Grande. The most important thing when you draw Ariana Grande is to identify the three things that makes her special. What do you think? Her eyes, her lips, her ponytail. Well, that's what I think anyway. You make up your own mind. Let's add the nose and ears. Now how about the body? She is slim, petite and very cute. So if we take away the details, we can see the simple parts that you'll need to draw. Now let's have a look at the materials that we'll need. If you only have a regular pencil and a white sheet of paper, you can still do uh, this drawing exercise. But if you have a lot of great quality materials, you can of course do more things. But for this particular drawing, I'm going to sketch with a pencil. I'm going to color with some fantastically high quality colored pencils. I'm going to use a little bit of white paint and a brush to do the highlights. Now let's have a look at the paper. I'm using a large sheet of smooth white uh, paper of high quality, smooth but not glossy because that won't take the pencils. Let's draw. We start by sketching her up with a regular pencil, the head first. Here I have drawn up a uh, center line with a ruler. Now this will be the center line for the head and the body. So we sketch in the head kind of like a perfect egg with the thickest part at the top and the slimmest part at the bottom. Actually her head is uh, quite slim and that's precisely why I'm using the pencil first so that I can adjust these things as I see them fit. So I'm going to take this in a bit. Then we can just erase a little bit of the lines that went wrong. Next, I start modeling the chin a bit, a little bit out like this and a pointy little chin at the bottom, not too big. Then I divide it roughly in half so that this part and this part is equally uh, long. So all the facial features is in this bottom half. Her mouth is down here, little smile there, quite low down. Uh, and then the nose is roughly about uh, here. We start sketching in the um, huge cat eyes. We can draw a little line to kind of indicate where they should be roughly in the middle. Pupils, eyelids, and small little eyebrows on top. The nose is just really small and cute. We make a cute little smile and then fairly not big lips, but quite sort of uh, full lips. And the upper one is bigger than the lower one. Then we position the ears uh, at the same height as the eyes. Finally, we put in the line for the hair, the hair line. Now we have to decide how big her forehead should be. So I think that's uh, roughly the right size. Okay, now we can move down to the body. Quite a long, slim neck, like this. And then the triangle that is her torso or chest. If we measure the height of her head, it's 15 cm high. So we go to the end of the chin, and we go 15 cm down, and that's where we make a mark. That's roughly the size of her body. So basically, her body is the same size as her head. So we start with doing a bit of a heart shape out from the chest triangle, going down into a point there. Again, we can do heart shape up here. So this is the shape of the chest and heart shape down here. That's the hips. Shoulders are little half circles like this, going out into an arm, the heart shape again. So here is the forearm, heart shape into a point down here. Same on the other side. At the end, the hands. And the hands, I'm just drawing them very simple like this, almost like a little hook that is upside down. Then we move on to her famous ponytail. First, a little uh, knot up here. I suppose it's called a knot, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And then 
The ponytail flowing out, woo, like a waterfall. Woo, like that, and a curl, a nice curl at the end. Okay, let's uh, do that one more time. Gorgeous. Then we are ready for inking, and I'm using a rubber pen with a rubber point that you can make thin lines and then going over into thick lines, thick lines, and then into thin lines again to get that uh, variety. So uh, let's um, start with the outline of the head. And here I am putting a bit more pressure to get a thicker line. Gorgeous. Then the ears and maybe a little earring. Basically, the smaller the shape, the thinner the line. The bigger the shape, the thicker the line. Notice that I am not following the uh, sketch uh, down to the very detail. I adjust as I go with uh, my, uh, my inking. As you can see here, I left out the helplines of the basic shapes. And we can move over to the ponytail. Finally, the slicked back here, instead of curvy lines. Gorgeous! The inking is finished and we can erase the pencil marks and get ready for coloring. And here's an idea for you. You can scan and print your drawing as many times as you like so that you can try different color versions. So now I'm going to show you a few. How about trying an all pink style? Or going green? Or all dark? <laughs> or totally angel. Box challenge. Behind me here, I'm working on a new caricature. Can you guess who? Box challenge. I start with a suitable pinkish uh, skin tone, covering the whole face with a flat color, except for on this side. This is where the light comes in. So uh, I'm going to draw a line to indicate where the light is. Then I color the lips with a nice even pink. Then the eyes with a dark brown. There, now I have established a basic uh, color scheme on the face and then the basic light coming in from the side here. Now I will strengthen the color next to the light because that's how it works. Next to the light, there's always a little shadow. So I strengthen the color over on this side. Also along the nose on both sides will be a little shadow. We move into the eyelids and darken them a bit more. I'm using a brownish uh, purple for that. And a bit under the nose and darkening the upper lip a bit. Then let's start with the eyes. I start with putting a shadow across about half the eye or half the, the iris and pupil. And then a little bit of color on the outer rim of the iris. Next, a bit of pink uh, down here in the corner of the eye here. Then with the black, I start darkening the bit all the way on top of the iris making a nice graduation. Then I start adding in the eyelashes. Very important. Now, eyelashes are important, but I advise you not to put in too many and not make them too long, or else you will see that the eyes uh, will just look like two horrible spiders, and that's not fun. Then still with the black, I add a bit of makeup on top here, a uh, bit of shadow on the eyelid. Then I color the shadow on the white part of the eye as well. Now, in order to make the eye look really three-dimensional, I need the highlights. And that's when I need a little bit of liquid paint. So here I have a white paint diluted with a little bit of water. So I'm now putting in the soft uh, highlights. So there is one can go sort of right across here and another soft spot right here and then I let it dry. Then when it's dry I use pure white paint 
and I add uh, an extra strong highlight right here and one right there. So we have a soft highlight and a strong highlight. So now the eye is finished. Notice the striking difference between this eye and this eye. It's magical, isn't it? So now I'm going to finish this one. Beautiful. Now I can do the same treatment with the lips. First a little uh, highlight of transparent white. Then let it dry. And then some pure white. Now here's another little tip, you can use an eraser to lighten up any of the colors. So if I want a little highlight here on the tip of the nose, I can just go in and do a bit like this. And then the nose is lightened and comes out a bit. I can do the same thing a bit down the, the rim of the nose as well. <laughs> Beautiful. And now let's do the same treatment on the body. Before I start, I'm going to add some boots on her legs and off I go with the color and finished and that is assuming that her costume is uh, white now why don't we move on to the hair the ponytail now her hair is dark but we can use all kinds of different browns or uh, blacks grays uh, to give her uh, hair life so how about starting with a little bit of uh, light brown and then we go uh, darker very fast moving on to a darker brown i make sure i make these stripes in her back slicked hair and then as i get over to the light side where the light hits the shape I make sure that I leave a little bit of hair uncolored, then I continue. Then I move on to the um, ponytail. Notice that I hold my pencil like this so that I can get the broad side of the pencil so, uh, so it's uh, flatter and can color a bit faster and a bit more even, not so pointy. Bring in the black and then I strengthen certain stripes and then make it darker towards the face so that we get that uh, feeling of light coming in from behind. I continue to make it darker on this side and this side, a bit lighter in the middle to give it that sort of uh, three-dimensional three uh, curve. Then I change uh, colors a bit back and forth uh, to create various stripes and finished all we need to do now is to sign the drawing it's very important to sign everybody so i'm gonna put my little signature down here hey stan now we have a beautiful drawing of ariana grande now let's look at some other ways we can draw her you see here i have cut out the basic shapes that we uh, use to draw with if we move them around, we can make so many different poses. Ariana straight. Ariana tilting her head. Ariana dancing. Ariana jumping. Whoops, ponytail in the face. Or how about a change of costume? If you take a transparent paper, put on top of your drawing, you can sketch out any type of costume that you like. Super size sweater. Cute butterfly or simply dangerous. I hope you're happy with my drawing of Ariana Grande. Now who or what would you like me to draw next?